So Assassin's Creed Odyssey has officially been revealed. We have seen trailers, various gameplay demos, and impressions videos from the many who have gotten their hands on the game already at E3 this year. So in this video, I want to go into detail on my overall thoughts and impressions of what we have seen of Assassin's Creed Odyssey so far, and what we can predict from what we have seen as well as predicting from past experiences with the development and marketing of AC games. My thoughts on Assassin's Creed Odyssey is a tale of two viewpoints. My thoughts on it as an RPG, compared to my thoughts on it as an Assassin's Creed game, because both are very different perspectives. Am I saying because it is set before Origins and doesn't involve Assassins versus Templars it isn't an Assassin's Creed game? Not necessarily. I am saying it is by being an RPG in and of itself, taking the AC brand further and further away from its narrative roots, whether it was set during the time of the Assassins or not. I've always seen the important parts that make up an Assassin's Creed game being the dive into history in connection to an overarching modern day narrative, with core gameplay elements being parkour and social stealth. Now Odyssey does have a dive into history and a modern day with the confirmed return of Origins modern day protagonist Layla Hassan, but the fact that there are branching narratives in history and multiple endings dependent on player choice means that they are fundamentally changing player shared experiences and the links to the history part in the AC universe and the modern day, which makes it kind of pointless in the process. With an explanation being what is most likely Layla's animus being a simulation program rather than an exact machine designed to relive memories, well that's based on the Isu Temple story in Origins anyway, as well as the modern day is also said to be mainly optional for players, I'm not sure how significant the modern day will even be really to begin with. Social stealth is still non-existent once again, and the parkour is there but again unexplained in a map far more spread out than ever before. How do these characters know how to climb like this? I know it's just a game, but it always bugs me that there is no explanation or even upgrade feature to show parkour progression, especially in a game where we're not even playing as an established assassin order. So it is those features that the RPG structure brings to Odyssey that as a consequence take away from the many elements that fundamentally make Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed. But aside from that fact, do I think Odyssey looks like a fun game to play and spend hours of my time in? Absolutely, there's no doubt an ancient Greece RPG with massive scale, building your own character and big massive battle sequences is a dream come true for me as a gamer. It's something I've wanted for a very long time and no doubt I'm probably going to have a blast playing this game from a gameplay perspective. In a lot of ways, Odyssey looks like Assassin's Creed Origins 2.0, which I don't have a problem with at all. I thought the basic stealth mechanics, aside from of course the lack of social stealth, and the combat system in Origins were the best in the franchise, and I'm excited to see it expanded on here. Though I wish the shields were available in the game, as it looks a bit strange in combat having to disarm everyone's shield, rather than having your own to counter with. All in the name of having some special Isu magic spear of Leonidas in your left hand. The naval aspect of the game looks fun as well. I've always loved naval in Assassin's Creed games aside from it feeling out of place and very repetitive in Origins. Odyssey looks to give that naval freedom back that Black Flag had, and that's something I can definitely get behind. With ship upgrades, sea shanties, and crew customization, I can't wait to dive into the naval aspects that Odyssey has to offer. Also, similar to E3 showing of most Assassin's Creed games, however, including Origins, Odyssey definitely had some gameplay issues and clunkiness from what I saw, from facial animations to combat and movements that were just a bit out of place in my mind. But that's something that can certainly be fixed before the game is officially released. When it comes to choosing your own character, customization being expanded, and more freedom to choose your own story path, as an RPG fan, I'm totally behind it. It will give the game more replay value and add a lot of fun overall. But again, that in and of itself as an Assassin's Creed fan worries me greatly. It's hard to look at this game and take it seriously as Assassin's Creed, because it just leaves me torn as to what I want this game to be. Ultimately, it, it is what it is, so I might as well forget what I want from it as an Assassin's Creed fan and see if I can just enjoy the game for what it is. Though, if you know me at all, you know how passionate I am about the lore and integrity of Assassin's Creed, so that is going to be a hard thing for me to do. But in that vein, the story of Odyssey has a very unique opportunity. 
to not be shackled by any Assassin versus Templar storyline, which in many ways has become stale in its execution. Almost every AC game is structured as character introduction and complication as to their motivation. Go on a journey of revenge or discovery, or both, kill numerous targets in a structured, chaptered sequence, then kill an undeveloped main villain, get a piece of Eden, and then roll credits. I'd like that structure thrown out the window. Explore more diverse story structures and range of challenges and character motivations. Have there be a deeper dive into the Isu and their impact on an ancient setting like Greece. See how they are viewed and explore the pieces of Eden in a more fantastical sense, as religious icons, not tools of controlling politics, but waging war. There are so many unique possibilities and I don't just want to see the same structure of past games just placed into whatever historical setting the game happens to be taking place in. In addition to story, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the soundtrack pieces that I've heard throughout the trailers and demos, and I must say they are fantastic already, so that always is a plus for me in my books, for any game. I most certainly have annual release concerns though. The fact that there is only a year between the release of Origins and Odyssey calls into question the improvements of narrative based on feedback from Origins. People will ignorantly tell me that the game has been in development for years and it's not been made in one year between the two games. Of course I know that. That's the exact reason I have an issue. Because before any feedback from Origins gameplay or storyline has been given from release, Odyssey is already almost finished. It also brings up fan fatigue. We've seen it before and I don't understand why Ubisoft aren't taking more care with their flagship franchise. Their idea of taking a break was one year off, and now it's back to annual release cycles? It's just ridiculous to me, because they are placing themselves in a cycle of fatigue, losing sales, eventually take a year off, and then make the same mistake all over again. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? My concern is that annual releases are getting harder and harder to make the more time goes on. Because yearly releases may have worked in the past for Ubisoft, but it takes more time and more money every year to develop new games. Because every year they're trying to make the games bigger and better whilst using even harder and more in-depth improved technologies to make the games. It's something that may work here with Odyssey, but eventually it's going to catch up to Ubisoft in more ways than one. Overall, I expect Assassin's Creed Odyssey to be a very fun, ancient Greece open world RPG with plenty of content to play, world to explore, and character elements to build. It's something a lot of people loved with Origins, and I think Odyssey will be well received in a similar way. But as a hardcore Assassin's Creed fan, I can't help but be confused as to why this game is called Assassin's Creed at all, other than to sell copies with the name brand attached to it. This is not exactly the direction I wanted the Assassin's Creed franchise to go in and forget about the core foundations of what made AC, AC. You could call this game simply Odyssey, and have it be in the AC universe, and it probably wouldn't make a difference. But instead, we get the return of annual release cycles, the fatigue of Assassin's Creed inevitably around the corner, and once again, the amazing protagonist from the previous game, in this case Bayek, completely forgotten about by Ubisoft. What is there to be invested in as an avid fan? Every game is distinctively different, and also distinctively similar, again for all the wrong reasons. It's clear to me that Ubisoft just don't agree with myself or many other fans on what makes Assassin's Creed Assassin's Creed and what's important to it. And this is why I'm trying to move on as a hardcore fan of this franchise and only play it if I think it's going to be fun for what it is, as an Ancient Greece RPG, not an Assassin's Creed game. And I think it will be fun at this stage from what I'm seeing, I'm quite interested to play for that exact reason. Anyway guys, let me know what you think of Odyssey down in the comments below. I'm done rambling and ranting on it. I look forward to reading the very divisive comments in the coming days. I will be back also this Sunday for Kill Connor Club episode 75 to recap all of E3 2018 with James over on his channel Lasers and we'll have more post E3 videos next week. Thanks again for watching everybody and I will see you guys later.